Hi, I'm Justin with Roland Professional AV, here to cover some troubleshooting tips for USB video. If you want to stream or record your video switcher's output, an easy way to do this is with a USB capture device. Several Roland switchers have this built in. Just look for the USB streaming port on the back panel. If it only has a remote port or a USB memory port, then you need a capture device like our UVC01 or UVC02. This is because your laptop does not have an HDMI input. That HDMI port only outputs video. And since you can't connect an output to another output, you need a capture device. Also, there are cable adapters that convert USB to HDMI. These are not capture devices. They work in the opposite direction and are used to add another HDMI output to a laptop in case you want an additional monitor or to mirror a computer screen to a video switcher input. What a capture device does is convert audio and video from HDMI to USB. From there, you can set it up as an audio and video source in OBS Studio, use it as your camera and microphone sources in Zoom, even your web browser can utilize it. Pretty much any software that supports USB video and audio will work. And you can stream and record those signals depending on the software. When setting up, a good quality USB cable is highly recommended. It needs to consistently support a 5 gigabit per second super speed USB 3.0 connection. But don't worry if you're not familiar with any of those specifications. We maintain lists of cables that have been tested on our knowledge base. You can find links in the video description. It's also important to connect the USB cable to a dedicated port on your laptop. USB hubs and extenders may work, but are not recommended as they can cause issues when you least expect it. And there are no drivers to install for our USB video and audio outputs. They use the device class drivers included in Windows and Mac OS. It's also important to note that most computers can only display a USB video signal on one software at a time. The USB audio can be accessed by multiple software, but for video, there's a way to get around this. For example, if you use OBS Studio and Zoom at the same time, you can enable the virtual camera in OBS and select that as your camera source in Zoom. When it comes to video quality, some Roland models allow you to set the resolution and frame rate, but overall it largely depends on your software settings, where you can further adjust the resolution, frame rate, bit rate, and more, depending on the software. Some Roland models also have the option to choose between compressed and uncompressed USB video. The YUI2 setting is for uncompressed, and the YUI2 in Motion JPEG is for compressed. In most software, you will not be able to tell the difference between these two settings. But conferencing software like Zoom and Microsoft Teams may have pixelization from the compression. In that situation, switch the setting to uncompressed. We hope this overview helps with your troubleshooting. If you need additional support with USB video or any other issues, please visit roland.com backstage and we will help. Thanks for watching. Thank you.